welcome back to Bitfumes and in this episode we are going to create the update part that means whenever I click on this update or edit button we want that a model come up just like this but the field also fillable and we can save the changes. So with that I'm your host Sarthak and this is the channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So I want the model just like this but you can see in this model the model title is here save changes is here but I want only save here and also in the view part I want here that the name of the person and then details. So you can see my server is already started and let's open this in our sublime. So here we have and now I will go to resources assets js component and at dot view here I will simply say add new entry save changes here then here only save not save changes so all these things are saved close then I will go to this show part and here I want the name of the person so firstly I will say list dot name then apostrophe is s then space and details so let's open our npm run watch so for that we have to open terminal and if you are on windows then you can open command prompt npm run watch so it is successfully built let's go to chrome reload our page and add new add new entry save looking nice then ASDF detail obviously that will not look nice but this is Sarthak's details great so what firstly we want we want this click event and a modal comma simply so let's go to sublime here create a new file called update.view and let's go to our add.view copy everything from here because it's exactly same but let's change this so I will say here whatever is the name of the person so it will be like update Sarthak's details okay this is good and you can see we are having everything else but this is not save this is update so obviously this has to be update once more and here we have to change it to update okay everything is looking nice but let's go to home.view so that we can add this component so we have to say whenever we click on this edit icon so let's copy this at click part from here and here I will say open update okay so obviously we have to create this method so let's create this method so it will be open update and obviously we have to create a new data for update active so update active which is going to be is active whenever we click so let's create that data called update active and we have to import our update dot view component so like this that should be update update and let's use that component here so simply this update and now come simple part let's go and check whether everything is good yes everything is good let's go to Chrome reload the page click on this edit button and it's not doing anything let's open console is there any error yeah error is because we have not told our app that we are going to use this update component so update okay reload once more click and yes it is here but I want every detail to be filled so you can see it's even not closing the model so for that let's do the same thing we always do to close the model we will simply say update active nothing 
that's good and in the open update part we are passing the key we just want to pass that key to our third children which having the index of one and not one two because zero one and two so this child will having the two dot list which we are passing and here we have to get that thing so instead of all these things we just have lists and here is list whenever we are clicking on update part let's open this update you can see list is empty but if I click here because we have some error in our home view I have done wrong so this has to be one open update has to be two that's good reload the page click here update and this time it having detail and also every field is now already filled so we just have to change and then update okay so for that we are going to give everything on level so let's go to phone book controller let's go to update part because we are going to update to give the data here we have to give the axios post request to a particular route so how will we know the route so for that let's stop this server and i will say php artisan route list and you can see we having long list but update is phone book slash the id and the method will be put or patch so firstly let's change the method patch then phone book slash id but let's use es16 backtick system so here not two only one then i will say this dot list dot id okay because we have id here that's good so we are passing this then we are passing the detail whatever the list we have then everything is good so this is good let's return request all and we will see what we are getting so obviously we have to start server we have stopped this okay so reload click click on update and here let's see on the network tab we have all these things whatever we are passing that's good this means we are getting the data on Laravel we just have to save this so let's copy all these things from here and on the update part let's paste it but instead of new phone book this has to be colon colon find with id so i will say here phone book request and let's delete all these things we don't need and then request arrow id and then everything is good go to chrome reload the page click here change this name ankur update and you can see we have some validation problem first problem is with phone and email obviously this is not a valid email so let's go to sublime and here on the phone book request where we are validating everything let's delete this numeric part from here and let's try this once more so chrome update and here it is good but we have to change the email so i will say ankur at gmail.com that's good update that's very nice but let's try one more time if i go here and you can see we have some so if i go here update you can see the email has already taken why is that because we are updating and in our request or the validation part we are having this unique part so what we have to do we have to firstly say that we are going to use email field and with this email field we have to give the id of that particular field so why not get everything we have so i will say request then request so let's import this at the top 
I'm using PHP companion for that. So request is here. And now I will say dollar request arrow ID. Very nice. And let's now go to Chrome, reload the page. And here come our Ankur. Let's click on update. And you can see it's updated with no error. And this ID is already in our database. But if I try to add new with some ID, so let's give anything, but the email will be the same.com. Save this and you can see it says email has already taken, but while updating, it's not saying about the email validation. So we have done all these things. That means the edit part and most probably uh, in the next episode, we are going to complete this delete part. And obviously, if you find some kind of error in these episodes or if you want to add something in this episode, please, please don't forget to comment and don't forget to message me because your support and your feedback is very valuable to me. Okay, so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe like BitFumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.